It's in our nature to protect the ones we love, to stand up to any danger, to be strong and courageous, to always be prepared, to keep our family safe, to be the first line of defense. We are born to protect. What's up and welcome to the channel. My name is Hexshot and thank you for joining us. Today I'm going to show you my 2020 EDC video and uh, I'm pretty excited to show you some of this stuff because a lot has changed since my last EDC video and uh, these videos are fantastic because not only can I show you what I'm carrying, but a lot of times you guys can give me ideas on ways I can improve mine. Uh, maybe I can give you ideas on the ways to improve yours and we can kind of just help each other out and make our EDCs uh, the best that they can be. So uh, before this video, you've seen a video from the USCCA. If you're a, a concealed carrier, a law-abiding gun owner, make sure that you check them out. Uh, they service pretty much all states in the United States and they're an awesome company. Protect yourself legally and financially. If you ever had to pull your gun in self-defense, you're going to want that service on your side starts at like 22 bucks a month these guys are awesome they help support us and we've been with them since 2015 and i absolutely love the company i'll leave a link down below so you can check them out and also we have some social media uh links that are down below if you want to check us out patreon is our patreon and youtube are my main social media platforms those are the ones i focus intently on um if you want to join us over on patreon i have an instagram and things like that too uh that i will leave down below for your viewing pleasure so let's go ahead and get started it being an election year one of the biggest things you want to have on you is a voter registration card i'm going to cover up some of the sensitive stuff there but registration registrate to vote um this is not a political video you didn't come here for that i'm not gonna push that down your throat at all but what i will say if you're 18 or older make sure you vote this year super important that we do that every year um and uh, uh, uh main election years obviously very very important so uh make sure you do that have your voter registration card all right cool so there's that it being 2020 i couldn't do an edc video without showing you a mask it's unfortunate. It sucks. I hate wearing one. But I figured if I was going to wear one, I was going to sport Old Glory here. And uh, this one's a little bit more breathable. I hate those, um, uh, the the regular medical mask, K95. They, they just suck. I have a beer too, so this already looks really weird. So at least I can uh, sport Old Glory there and be a little bit more comfortable while I'm while I'm wearing that thing, because there's just some places you can't even go into uh, without having the mask on. So you know, hey, there's that. What else? All right, so I have my wallet. This is the same Core Essentials wallet I've been carrying for a couple of years now. I started carrying it in my front pocket because I do have some back issues, and and carrying a wallet um, on one side or the other in your back pocket can lead to uh, more back issues or back issues in the future. So I started carrying this in my front pocket pocket and it is pretty much maxed out i mean this thing has gotten super wide probably a bunch of stuff in here i don't even need anymore but you know hey it is what it is obviously it has an rfid blocker and all of that good stuff um another thing that's changed since we started working with olight these lights are fantastic i mean there's a lot of naysayers but i really don't care what you say because these things are great this is the serbaton 2 um love the color i love the magnetic charging and i love the fact that you have such a bright light with multiple levels and it's light not in the way now one thing i am guilty of is not carrying it on me all the time uh, most of the time i keep it in my book bag which is what i'll lead you here to next i carry a backpack every single day now most of the time i will be riding into work on my motorcycle so i need something waterproof this gopro bag they're kind of expensive but man this thing is fantastic it has attachments so i can use it at the range for our uh, videos here um waterproof compartments and stuff i can keep my gopro batteries all of that good stuff a laptop if i need to i have medicines that i keep in here sometimes i may have to keep my firearm in here just depending on what's going on but uh this backpack is is great and i absolutely love it and i carry a backpack every single day um i gotta have one on me uh, another thing that's changed is my knife. So this is the Para 3 Spyderco, Para 3 Military, I think is what they call it, Spyderco. Um, I lost my Mantas. I don't know if it 
popped out of my pocket when I was riding uh, my bike, but I've searched high and low for that that knife because a really good friend gave it to me. I tried to keep, I kept up with it for years and years and years, and then all of a sudden one day it was just gone. So um, I had to replace it. I knew I wanted a Spyderco, and I tried this one out, and I'm so glad I did because it's so much lighter than the Mantis. It's got these nice G10 style grips there, skeletonized clip, super sturdy, and um, easy to close and open. I love their thumb hole. One, one guy that I actually work with, he said, man, it looks like a bird's head. It's super ugly. And it kind of does look like a bird's head, like a duck head or something, but I don't care. These things are super sharp, very light, and uh, I just, I love spider code knives. So there you go. There's my new knife that I've been carrying. Now let's get down to the meat and potatoes. Maybe the reason that you're here. Uh, what gun have I been carrying? And this is numero uno right now. This is the uh, P365 XL, and since Tolster released their Oath holster, which is a tuckable and optics-ready holster, now I have a way to carry the P365 XL with the Romeo Zero on top there, and this is a great setup. I mean, it's a little bit heavier than the P365, obviously, uh, the regular P365, but you get two more rounds. Great profile. I love the optic on here. It's super slim, uh, but it, it does exactly what it's supposed to do, and this is a fantastic uh, EDC firearm, man. I just, I absolutely love it, man. It's my favorite, and with this holster setup, it it's just works so great. So one gun that I've thrown in my rotation, and I'm always throwing guns in the rotation because there's new guns that I need to review and report back to y'all, tell you what I think, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so the one I'm doing now is the Spartan 2 in a Tolster holster, one of their profile holsters. And this is a, a super comfortable concealed carry gun. Now it's not, you know, I, I, I don't really necessarily care for the fact it has a safety and all of that kind of stuff, but I can tell you as far as the weight and comfort of this gun, it's super comfortable, super light to carry. Decent capacity, I think, you know, with seven plus one in the chamber, not too bad. Um, I'm actually getting a little bit of rusting and stuff, or maybe it's just some light surface on the sights. That's one thing I've started to notice as I've been carrying it a little bit more. Um, I, I don't know, man, that just may be a six hour thing, man. But sometimes when that sweat gets up on them, it just, I don't know why it does that. But anyways, um, so yeah, the, the Spartan 2, it's just an awesome little carry gun on a 1911 style platform. Uh, not the greatest concealed carry in the world, but it is super comfortable. And that's one I've been keeping in the rotation as well. And then the regular P365, I do occasionally still keep that one in there when I want something a little bit lighter and a little bit smaller than the XL. But the XL is my favorite, my go-to concealed carry now. Um, so yeah, there we go. Now a spare magazine, I'm pretty guilty of this. I haven't, I've, I've kind of left the spare magazines at home. All right. I think the the best way I've carried a spare magazine is that little Neo Mag pocket holster, man, because it was super convenient. Um, I really just need to get another one of those, um, buy one and carry that way because those things work really awesome. Um, and that may keep me, that, that may give me more motivation to carry a spare magazine. Um, the Echo Mag carriers from Tulsa are good. I just, honestly, a lot of times I just forget about it, man. Plus 12 plus one capacity. That's pretty good. Now I'm not saying that's, that's, fantastic. You know, you should have a spare magazine um, as often as you can. It's just sometimes, a lot of times I just don't really think about it. So, hey, we're all human, man. And that's why we're here, man. Hopefully we can improve each other, keep, hold each other accountable, man, um, in our EDCs and stuff. Now, if you think there's a way I can improve my EDC, then hey, let me know. Leave me a comment down below. Or if maybe I helped improve your EDC, let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. And as always, hold them down.